Come on in to the movie, y'all. That Hollywood hood girl. Come on in, y'all. This Hollywood hood girl, too. Come on, y'all. Y'all see the new movie? Come on in. I'm coming in with y'all, too. Mm. Come on in, y'all. We got a new movie again. Yes. Come on in, bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water, bring your food and snacks and sit and chat with who? Me, that hood girl to the hood. Y'all, the uh, production is uh, Air Fryer. <laughs> and the director is Chicken Legs, Air Fry Chicken Legs. And uh, of course, the camera is to hood girl, that hood girl to the hood. Okay, y'all, this is scene two, take two. Let's roll the tape. How y'all doing this evening? I'm coming at y'all with some good old air fried chicken. I wanted it. And of course, y'all, I'll tell you what else in this bowl on the other side. I know y'all see it, huh? Mm-hmm. So let's say prayers. Father God, thank you again for another day. Thank you for everything that you do for us. Even when we fall short. Thank you for grace. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. So, y'all, we got uh, that bowl is hot. But, oh, it is. We got the leftover uh, potato casserole. I was like, uh, yeah, we not going to. But I have just a half a pan because I didn't make a big pan. I think I have a half a pan left over. I think I'm going to freeze it because I'm tired of these potatoes. I ain't lying. Mm. Y'all, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Have a good evening, my sisters. Thank y'all for coming back. So, salute, salute. Let's sip, sip again this water. <laughs> I'm thirsty, y'all. But you know what? We have some uh, jalapenos. And of course, we got tapatia, salsa picante. So, I don't know. And I don't think there's enough chicken either. <laughs> but y'all, we got the last of the uh, cucumber salad as well. So how y'all doing tonight? Uh, I don't really have a topic tonight. Let's talk about life. Okay, y'all, here. Y'all, this stuff is a hot. Tastes better today. Y'all see that steam? Mm-hmm. Yum, yum. Give me some. Y'all, I had some good old street tacos today, and it was bomb. I'm really going to go get the breakfast tacos, the barbacoa. Yeah, I want to just taste what the breakfast taco tastes like. And they're new here in Seabrook. So, I saw them the first time. And they didn't have no um, no cars or anything. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. So, I think it's been like 30 days now. Until they came across my Instagram page, as I said earlier today. Well, you know, I don't know when y'all going to see this video. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, did I tell y'all I had the pieces of sausages in there as well? Mm -hmm. Today I was looking at like mother, like daughter eats. She had a potato and she did it like a taco, but she had some shrimp and all the other goodness. Honey, I'm going to make them. They look so good today. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tomato taste it. Yep. I'm going to do it. But y'all know I haven't had shrimp in a, in a minute. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping that... uh. My Kroger got them snow crabs on sale this week. It's been a month now. 
from the last sale. I do want some snow crabs, at least two. You know, at first I was buying six and eight at a time, so I'm gonna stop that because I don't wanna eat it like that anymore until we figure out what's going on. But I had a, a appointment with my doctor on yesterday, on Monday, I might say Monday because I don't know when y'all can see this video. She wanna keep me on the blood pressure pills for the rest of the year. So y'all, this is the first time in my whole life that I was on some prescription medicine. Mm. Other than my weight loss pills that I can't take no more. Mm. Y'all, we haven't even uh, bit, 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 uh, bit that chicken, huh? I want some pepper stuff. And I got this hot sauce, so if I'm doing any peppers, I'm not going to do the hot sauce, y'all. Okay, y'all, today is Tuesday. Tomorrow is the, the, is, is the last uh, uh, um, show for uh, Married at First Sight for um, Woody and... Christina and Henry and all those miles and who y'all mm, I don't know what's gonna happen I'm gonna be on my sofa mm-hmm y'all without a do mm. how piece of that Black fried chicken. Here you go. Mmm, -hmm. pretty ain't it? Mmm, -hmm. that's pretty. It just it, look at all that smoke, y'all. It just came out the air fryer. Look at that. That's hot. I'm gonna leave that open. Y'all see that smoke? Ooh, I talked to my mama today. She finally talked to me today. She was mad at me. For a couple of weeks. Because I called her evil. <laughs> she got over it. So I think this weekend God say the same. I'm going to uh, go visit her. Because I do. Need to get to the meat market. I believe. I got a big list. That I need from the store. I think I'm gonna do my low ball this weekend. Mm hmm I'm thinking about it. Who that pepper good and spicy? Sweet and spicy. Y'all remember how to how to sweet. So mm. but y'all you know I seasoned my chicken earlier today and I let it sit for like four hours, five hours. It's good. It's so good. Oh, I asked. Uh, oh, y'all, I wanted to share uh, um, the y'all bros who I told y'all uh, they came across my timeline that once that moved to uh, Guadalajara. But there's another lady and a guy that's in Meridia. Meridia, however you say it. They have some good, uh, you know, information as well, if should you want to move abroad. So, uh, tomorrow, I'm going to write their names down, and uh, and I want to shout them out, because I'm following all three of them, mm -hmm. and I'm getting a lot of information. Thank you for the, uh, the Yard Bros, and Asia, I think that's her name, and then the guy, I don't, I don't remember his name, y'all, y'all know I remember everybody's name. But I do know the Yarbros, uh, because that's easy. Uh, and I have a friend with the last name of Yarbro, so it's easy for me. So, uh, but I think the other one is Asia, if I'm not mistaken. She's a, a, a beautiful black girl. So, I'm telling y'all.
I have told my family, my friends, many years, just because you're born in the States don't mean that's your last destination. God called everything to be, you know, this, this beautiful earth all around the world. You know, and some of us will die where we, where, 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 where we were born. I want to see the world. Mm -hmm. But I was listening to, I think her name is Aja. Yeah, I believe that's what her name is, y'all. And and if it's not, uh, if you're looking at me, I'm sorry, but I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna get your name. I'll put it on paper. I have to write it down. But she had one of the Mexican uh, lawyers speaking yesterday, and to tell you what you would be looking at coming to Meridia, Mexico. So. I'm learning. She says only two visas that you can do. Temporary, temporary is six months. And then permanent is a year. But I also listened to her say that once your, your rental contract ends, the, um, the, uh, Landlords can double your rent the next year. She say some of them do them, some of them don't. If she say if you pay your rent on time and they never had a problem with you paying your rent, they normally won't do it. But y'all, that kind of scared me a little bit. Mm hmm. I'm learning about pesos, y'all. Mm hmm. I got the currency thing on my phone just in case. Mm hmm. But I want to go there and visit. So, if God say the same, next year I want to go see both both of those, Meridia and uh, Guadalajara. Mm -hmm. Which I know I've always wanted to go to move to Costa Rica though. But Costa Rica is hard. Even though you still got to apply for a, for a visa for Mexico as well, y'all. But she said it's not hard. Uh, uh, Costa Rica said it could take a year to be approved. Mm -hmm. And I think she said it costs 8,000 pesos, which is like 200 and some dollars. Mm -hmm. You also have to have a guarantor to sign from you from Mexico if you have somebody that lived there. And you have to have four times the rent plus attorney fees. And the, she said the attorney fee is probably the same amount as your rent. So, five times your rent. Mm -hmm. But what I'm seeing, especially with the Yarbrough's, their building is gorgeous. They have these mountain views and Seven hundred some dollars a month. <laughs> wow. But of course, you still have to pay your utilities and your internet and and that's one thing I'm gonna have to ask questions about because I I, I work remote and I need my internet. It can't shut down. So that's that's a question that I have. You have to pay water. She said the water is very cheap, though. Yeah. Electricity as well. Mm-hmm. I go shopping with uh, Aja. I hope that's her name. Uh, and when I look at the prices, it's not expensive, y'all. But it's something like the mall. I got a nice mile in Meridia, y'all. The prices are the same, like the U.S. Mm-hmm. And some of the stores at the mall. The mall is beautiful. Now, isn't it amazing 
that all of our young life, the news have always portrayed those countries to be ugly and poor and bad. Well, if you look at where you live, you got poor and bad in the same. Mm hmm So, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. That chicken is beautiful. And it's so juicy. Mm. It's hot. This song keeps coming in my mind. The country western song. When the bones are good, nothing else matters. Mm. When you have a strong foundation in your relationship, keep it. Because it's hard to get and it's hard to build. That's just delicious, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. I don't like all them bangs, though. Y'all time for the run out. Mm. Mm. That is. That is, y'all. Well, that is 16 minutes go by fast, don't it? Hmm. That's good. I'm going to eat that other piece, though, y'all. So, look here. It's time to say goodbye. I see y'all. But let's sing. I step out. It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around uh, on the other side. So whatever you do today for the rest of this evening, do it good. Do it with purpose and do it with genuine love. Peace out.